ओके गाइस नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम वेलकम टू माय चैनल एंड दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम नंबर टू सिक्सटी सिक्स ए एंड द लिंक इज प्रॉब्लम स्लेट स्लैश प्रॉब्लम स्लैश टू सिक्सटी सिक्स स्लैश ए एंड द प्रॉब्लम इज ऑफ कैटेगरी ए एंड द नेम इज स्टोन्स ऑन द टेबल सेम सेट ऑफ स्टेप्स बिलो इट सो आई एम स्किपिंग इट देर आर एनी स्टोन्स ऑन अ टेबल इन अ रो ईच ऑफ देम कैन बी रेड ग्रीन और ब्लू ओके सो देर आर थ्री स्टोन आर and count the minimum number of stones to be taken from the table so that there are no two neighboring stones had two different colors stones in a row are considered neighboring if there are no other stones between them so we have to find the minimum number of stones that have to be taken out from the table so that two neighboring stones had different color so that means two uh, two uh, colors same stone should not be adjacent so each of them so the input is the number of stones on the table n and the next line contains the sequence how they are placed so like the ith character s equals to r where r denotes the red stone g denotes the green stone and p denotes the blue stone so that's a basic implementation problem uh, and let's move on to the code problem number 266a so yes <clears throat> guys i am putting into every i am putting all the solutions into the repo and you can clone it at any time and contribute to it okay so so we are going to take uh, the number of stones on the table and the next is you have to take the input string and uh, you have to count the number of stones that have to be taken out okay so now what we are going to do is like um we can compare to adjacent characters of this string okay so let's take an character z and that should be as dot character equals to 0 and let's say that we have a loop for i and t i equals to 1 and i is this then is dot length and i plus plus so now we have to compare if z equals to equals to s dot character i okay so if z is equals to equals to s dot caret i that means that uh, the first character is equals to the second character and we have to take uh, one stone from here so we can increase the count equals to and then z dot equals to s dot caret i so i think that makes sense so to what i am doing here that if the first character in the string is is equal to the second character in the string then we have to take the first and uh, the first stone out of it and then continue from there so uh, i think like this problem is solved here okay no problem let's check it okay so what i did is that i print z oh i'm sorry so we have to print count okay so is one <coughs> for the next input for okay working for the next input zero so i think this problem is done copy pasting and submitting to the code process platform running on test 1 3 8 16 no okay running 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 accepted so yes this is all about the problem number 266a thank you guys thank you for watching